Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe and today we're back out with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, so we only have one mission so far and that is actually right here at the camp. Micah is hanging out right here by Dutch's tent. So let's uh, see what kind of shenanigans Micah is going to get us into because he seems to every single time. Micah? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. well that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load of him. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tight. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. They suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, okay. Five, it's gonna be a wild one, guys. Morgan. Going after the head man of the O'Driscolls. All right, Micah, you lead the way. I don't want to go ahead of him. He's too far ahead of him. Uh, I don't know how many. I've been fighting Cone for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch settle into you got that rifle don't you yeah yeah then me and dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us hmm? okay just keep calm unless i give you a reason not to oh we'll be fine we got you i will do my best oh my dear and trusted friend with you watching over me I would walk into hell itself. As would I. 
Thank you, guys. That means a lot. <laughs> Up there. Man on the ridge. Old oh, boy. Yep. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Let's just not look suspicious. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is more shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye Ow. on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Go to the observation position. Yep. That's just like bumped right into me. No, 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 okay. <laughs> Uh, my horse is just going wherever he wants now. Alright, we're gonna hang up. Ugh, come on. Over there, thank you. Just out on this ridge. Please do not run off. I'm gonna get off. I'm just gonna... What the heck is that? Is that a body? Okay, there's Micah and Dutch. Alright, let's keep an eye. Oh, here they come. Alright, let's be ready. Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? Are they still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. <laughs> how's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Y'all always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Whoa, what the heck? I guess they had the same idea. Right now I'm getting beaten senseless. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing them over to the law. Escape the O'Driscolls. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. How do I? With this fella Column fight, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Column and Patrick? 
Ow, what the? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Did I just die? So I'm not supposed to do that? No, I'm being taken away on a horse. That was kind of weird because I felt my controller shake. Finally, put his weapons over there. Oh, great! They're stripping me down. I have nothing on me at all. Great, how do I get out of this predicament? And I'll see it's the next day. Oh. Okay, I gotta swing. Yeah, we got a wound right in the shoulder. Oh, God. Performing self-surgery. Oh. Jeez. Okay, gunpowder. Oh my god, this is gonna be painful. 
cauterize it. Oh! Anything else from him, or was that it? What's he still doing down there? The heck? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Leave the area on a horse. I have like no health at all. Still a dollar fifty. Oh, I can't even access my satchel. I think they have it. Alright, we're just gonna have to beeline it out of here. Just goes to patrol the roads around the cabin, evade them to escape the area. Oh god. Oh wow. Okay, um I think the best thing to do is to stay off the road. Either way I'm gonna get spotted. because the screen is really, uh, hazy. I slammed my horse's head into a rock. Alright, I think... Oh, I just passed out. I think I just escaped on my own horse. Luckily. <sighs> All right, Mike. Uh... Go meet Colmo Driscoll, he said. It'll be fun, he Arthur. said. Arthur? Why am I Arthur. wounded, battered, beaten, everything? Yeah, I told you it was a setup to us. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on our Oh, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Oh, you're safe now. Uh, that's pretty, it does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Well, that was quite an escapade.
few weeks later. My beard's probably very long now at this rate. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morton. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. The gang have replaced your stolen weapons. They are on your saddle. Alright, well that's good. You won't be able to grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Or your beer won't. Uh, typical day in the camp. Everybody fighting. Alrighty, guys. Well, we were clearly set up. We got a couple more. Looks like... Let's take a look at the map real quick. Alright, looks like we got a couple... Looks like just one other mission here. Right in the center of town in Rhodes with Bill Williamson. Micah and Sean are over there, too. Alrighty, guys, so, well, good news is, I guess, in this case, is, uh, we kind of know where Colmo Driscoll's being holed up, or where some of his, uh, gang members are, so maybe we should take them out at some point. But, uh, on that note, guys, I'm gonna actually go ahead and end the episode right here, so thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoy the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day! How'd you mean? No money in the box for ages. Come on, son. You're the best man among us. Don't go weak on me now. Please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Thank you, son. I've been wounded, you jackass.